Hi, I'm Brian Duran with Ari. Today we're going to talk about the color modes and color mixing on the Sky Panel X. Of course, we have our white light. That's our CCT mode from 1500 to 20,000 degrees Kelvin and a plus minus green. The Sky Panel X has a six color light engine. It's red, green, blue, amber, cyan, and lime. In most cases though, you'll be working in a calibrated RGBW, and so that's the default behavior. The amber, cyan, and lime LEDs are still gonna be working when you're calibrated. It'll just be happening automatically, color mixing to get the best possible result. From an onboard control panel, you'll have your red, green, blue, and white channels, and then you'll have the option to adjust your CCT white point and your plus minus green. On a console, we have two legacy DMX modes. Those are equivalent to modes one and mode six on the classic sky panels. When you're in these modes, the CCT range is gonna be reduced to 2800 to 10,000 degrees Kelvin, and you'll have your crossfade from CCT to RGBW. Then we have three new ultimate DMX modes and three new array-based DMX modes. In these, instead of having a crossfade between CCT and RGB, you would create white light just by setting RGB at equal levels. Then we have DMX modes 9 and mode 10. These are both 8 pixel modes with finer control, mostly 16 bit. In these modes, your plus minus green is a global setting. And then on each pixel, you're going to have your CCT and your crossfade to RGBW. Another possible color mode is HSI, your hue saturation intensity. On a console, this behaves a lot like the new RGB modes. If you bring your saturation all the way down to zero, you're creating white light so there's no crossfade between CCT and HSI. We also have XY coordinates as a way to select your color. This is picking a color on the CIE chromaticity diagram. This can be really useful if you're in virtual production or any other application where it's important to have really precise control of your color. Then we have our direct RGB ACL, running each of those emitters directly without any calibration present if you just need the most saturated colors possible out of the Sky Panel X. In addition to these color mixing modes, we also have our Lee and Roscoe gel library. This is its own mode on the control panel. When you're on a console, instead of being a separate mode, we have our entire gel library on a 16-bit parameter in all of the new profiles. Then, of course, there's source matching, similar to gel mode, but referencing real-world sources like the sun at different times and traffic lights, other sources like that. And then finally, of course, is the built-in lighting effects your fire, your lightning, your paparazzi. These are also accessible via a single 8-bit channel on the new DMX modes. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about the color modes and the color mixing on the Sky Panel X, you can visit us online at ari.com/skypanelx or check us out on social media.